Gymnast Coaches Rundown it is Tuesday the 18th of August. We're into our final week of this block. Don't forget our aerobic pacing intervals on a Tuesday. We're just slightly increasing the total time you're working this week and we're taking you down in terms of the sets that you're working with. So remember previous weeks we we're only running for two minutes. This week we're bumping up for three minutes. Obviously we're looking for increased distance that we hold there. In terms of the pace that you hold, maybe you have to bring your pace down just ever so slightly from what you were holding for your two minutes before you push a bit more on the three. Then we go to a four minute AMRAP, AMRAP versus a three minute AMRAP from the week before. After that four minutes of again consistent work, whatever round one is like, your final round of that four minutes should look the same as well. Obviously if you don't have running, shuttle running in an apartment can always work on the corridor of your apartment building. Skipping, jumping jacks, burpee equivalent, any sort of movement equivalent will work as well. Remember, the idea is consistency across the board. Have a great session if you can get outside and get outside. For your A work, three minute run, off she goes. Remember, we are looking to be hitting this similar sort of distance each time we do our three minute run. She comes back. She'll then go into four to six burpees. Burpees, jump back if you want, jump back up, or control the cadence, step back. Step back up, whatever you want. Make sure we see full extension at the top, followed by 10 to 12 air squats. Air squats, looking for hips to pass below parallel, full extension at the top, four minute AMRAP of that. Once you're on your four minute AMRAP, you'll then again rest for three to four minutes. You're gonna start with a three minute run. Off she goes, off the camera. She's going, and she's coming back, and she's running. Once the three minutes is up, she will come back to her aqua bag. And she's gonna complete a four minute AMRAP of anywhere between six to 10 power cleans. Now remember, we are looking at consistency throughout the four minutes of work. So this is a fairly heavy aqua bag. So we would prescribe Tammy here with probably six to eight power cleans. Remember you have the option. If you have a lighter object, double dumbbell, kettlebell, we can always use those. Once you've done your power cleans, you'll then move into your alternating reverse lunges. These are just done at body weight. So don't worry about weighting yourself. If you think, oh, maybe I should use some load today, then I, my recommendation would just be to move a bit faster. Okay, so it's 10 to 12 alternating reverse lunges. You then go back to the power cleans, back to the lunges for four minutes of work. After you've done your four minutes of work, we then rest. We rest three to four minutes. Then we're gonna do the same thing. And our final one will be a three minute run. Off she goes. Off the screen to the right. And run back across. She'll come back in after her three minutes of work, which should be the same as the other two, three minutes of running she did. She'll pick up her aqua bag into a front right position. And then she's gonna complete six to 10 shoulder to overhead. Oh, Please don't swear, thank you. Push press. Or a push jerk, or a squat jerk. Nice. After that, she'll then go into four to six bag facing burpees. So make sure you've got enough space. Down she goes, face the bag. Two footed jump over the bag, or the dumbbell, or the kettlebell, or your backpack, whatever you're using, and then back into the shoulder overhead and rest. Don't forget, Tuesday's work, we are looking at consistency across the board. You have three different pieces to hit. Each one is gonna start with a three minute run followed by a four minute AMRAP, anywhere between three to four minutes rest in between each one. Remember your run section each time. If you're completing 400 meters in that first one, you should really be completing 400 meters in that third one as well. In terms of the four minute AMRAP, Think about manipulating the cadence of the movement because really the movements that we chose and the rep schemes that we've chosen should really be completed unbroken. So rather than breaking the rep scheme, think about manipulating the cadence of the movement. For example, jumping back versus stepping back on a burpee. The power cleans, maybe you breathe for a second in your rack position before you go back down again. If you're doing the air squats, maybe taking a second at the top of each air squat. Manipulate the cadence to suit your level of fitness 
three to four minutes rest, of course, if you're feeling good and you're tight for time, three minutes. If you're pushing a little bit harder, you think that you need that four minutes, of course, push up to that level, just make sure you record it in water. If you do have any questions, of course, shoot us up in the water cooler. We will do our best to get back to you guys before your workout. Have a great Tuesday session, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.